Nice. Uh oh. There I go too. Double header. I was just starting to strip in to get it out of the way for you. Mine now we're going to have a real challenge on our hands. Mine is off. Yours I lost is off? Mine. Yeah, he turned broadside into the current. Mine is on and he's broadside to the current and he's leaving me. Yeah, I'm in the backing. Holy cow. He's going to go. This is a catfish. This is a big catfish. Now the problem, I'm, I feel like I want to follow this fish a little bit. I also don't you know, know what? the terrain. My I don't... advice, don't follow him. Because there's drop offs in here. You go past the old bank. Man, you'll be doing a half floater. You'll be floating down with him going all the way to the big lake. That's what I was afraid of. So this is a patient type of game if you can work him back. Yep, so far he's coming a little bit. It's a miracle. You know what, in this fast current, what's going to happen is he will run on you big time. Yeah, he got out there broadside and be right off the bat in the beginning there and just took off. I'll be real glad when I get my fly line back on the reel. You know, you know what, you can sort of take steps coming this way. That way at least you get around the bushes here. As soon as I see my line go away right, I will run down there. Well, shuffle, not run. Yes. <laughs> And what I've had fish on in this fast current that have taken me 185 yards downriver, I just have to break them off. I hate having to put that much pressure on a fish when your fly line's 100 feet away from you because you, you know you really worry about your fly line. Luckily, it, it's a pretty uncommon thing if you do your knots between your fly line and your backing right. And I do, I do a spider hitch or a bimini twist and attach it to a whipped loop in the fly line, and that's that's a pretty solid way of doing it. Here I was all excited about having my fly line back. He just took, almost got it out again on me. Come on buddy, out of that heavy current. Do what you did last time and swim for us, swim to us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, he's gonna be fighting for a while. It's a big fish. Stu, how big do, can these cats get? Well, the cats themselves, you could be looking at a, you can get 40 pound cats out of here. You're kidding. No. Nope. 40 pound channel cat. 40 pound channel cats. They are in here. Some of the big that that is a cat that it you sure have looks on, like a cat. So some of the big cats, you know what? They're so big I don't want to even hazard a guess because the bigger ones haven't been caught yet. You know, 35, 40 pound cat, that's that's gonna be about 45, 46 inches. And they are in here. Not only that, but you can get some 40 pound carp in here as well. Yeah, well, let's hope that we got our cat instead of a 40-pound carp. Although, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I'm a fanatic of carp, too. <laughs> I guess because I'm on the Red River, I feel like I want to catch this dream catfish. Okay, bring him back, Jeff, and I'll land him for you. Yeah, I'll bring him back. I'll get him a little closer to shore for yeah, you, Yeah, I won't even use the net for this. He may have finally given up here, Stu. Yeah, he's getting there. Okay, I got him. Got him? All right. A Red oh. River cat. Okay, oh, get geez. that fly out. Holy cow, that is a big fish. You know, I've caught you a lot ready of channels. You see this? Oh my goodness. There you go, man. Holy cow. Now, that's what we talk about when we Stay right say, like that. I'm taking a picture there, Stu. That's, I know it's- Just a, grab him by the tail. I got him. There you go. Oh. Awesome fish, bud. I've awesome. been waiting a long time to catch a cat like that.